for the long term, I think that some of these cheap oil stocks are going to be good. We, listen, some of you, like me, like in my institutional accounts that I manage and, and uh, uh, my own, you, you bought oil when it was cheap already. Well, you, you mean buy it again? Well, you can add to it if you want. But here it is. I'm going to I'm going to say for some some of those stocks 2 years later it's still cheap again or it's getting cheap again. So when does the long term kick in? I you know I think we got and I I've, I've been saying this I said it in January we're 18 months away in January. Okay? That's what I said in the beginning of the year. And now I may be wrong it may be 24 months, I may be wrong it may be 6 months, but you know, at best, the best case scenario, the way I look at it, from a stability coming into those markets is going to be the middle of first quarter. I said it at the end of December and beginning of January, and I'm still saying it. Uh, I, I said it in the face of OPEC, the uh, API, the economist at the um, um, International Energy uh, Institute, uh, all of those organizations have said exact opposite of what I said. And I've said it in the face of that. I think they're wrong and I'm right. Well, why do I think that? Because I'm looking at the behavioral side of things, not only the behavior of individuals, but I'm looking at the behavior of corporate investment, which is far more important than anything they're looking at. I'm not, and I'm not saying I'm not looking at the stuff they're looking at. I'm looking at that too, which I don't think what they're looking at the fundamentals and the technicals they're looking at makes a case for balancing of oil. doesn't even come close. So I think it's a, a case of if we say it, it will happen. And they're trying to create this self-fulfilling prophecy. It's not going to happen.